Talking about, you know, when you go out and pick that perfect tree, it's just something that speaks to you. And nothing mm -hmm. says the holidays quite like a well-decorated tree, but the key to that is finding that right tree for you and your family. Yeah, and if you don't have your tree yet, our Kiara Cotton knows just the place for you to go. And of course, she is there right now. With Good. her ex, uh, no. <laughs> Well, we told you, so <laughs> Kiara Austin is trying to peer pressure no. you into cutting down a Christmas tree, and you are standing firm. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's right. I'm sticking to my guns today. Good morning, guys. I am here at Sugar Pines Farm in Chesterland, where they have been teaching me the ins and out of real trees all morning long, and it has been an amazing time. But joining me now to continue talking about it is owner Jane. Jane, how are you this morning? I'm great. Welcome to Sugar Pines. Uh, thank you so much for having us so early. You and your husband decided to buy this business 11 years ago. Tell me a little bit about why a Christmas tree farm. It's a lot of fun. I mean, it's a business that's, we love to be outside. Growing trees is a lot of fun and making families, you know, happy during the holidays is, is what it's all about. And yeah. the whole, it's a fun business. Absolutely. And Sugar Pine, here at Sugar Pines, you guys can, you can cut down your own tree or you can come and pick them out, but you also are lending an extra hand. Tell me a little bit about the process that goes into putting a tree on your car or truck then taking it home. Sure. Well, after someone picks a tree, they take it over here and the guys will shake it and then they're going to bail it up there and then they'll help put it on the car, tie it up. We provide the twine. You don't have to bring a thing. Making it easy, keeping it simple, no tools or uh, equipment needed. Uh, Jane, tell me, how long does it take to grow one of these Christmas trees? They grow on average about a foot a year, so seven, eight years for the average size Christmas tree in the ground. So the trees that people are taking home today have been growing for seven to eight years. Is that, that, is that correct? That's correct. That's yeah. absolutely amazing. And talk to me a little bit about, really quickly, uh, the other things that you have that are helping families create memories here at Sugar Pine. Sure. Today and tomorrow, we have a hay wagon all day, hay wagon ride. We have lots of yummy food or a concession tent. Santa Claus is coming from one to four. And we just invite people to enjoy the farm, you know, just to run around, enjoy the fields, breathe the fresh air. Awesome. So. Absolutely amazing, and I have been enjoying it, guys. If you are looking to get a Christmas tree for your home, if you haven't gotten it already, you can check them out at 9500 Mulberry Road. They're open Saturdays and Sundays from 9 a.m. to 5.30. And again, no tools, no equipment needed. They're keeping it easy for you. And you can find more information at sugarpines.com. And again, guys, it's such a fun time. They have a lot of stuff going on. And, you know, if you're dragging your feet on getting your Christmas tree, get moving. Yeah, Kiara, I'm a little sad. We went and got our tree last week. I should have waited to this week. It sounds like so much fun there. Absolutely. It's like core memories are made at a place mm -hmm. like that. That's fantastic. Kiara, thank you so much.